Hi there, this is Mike with Blurry Pixel, and I want to show you uh, how to make a swirly particle effect like you see in a lot of uh, network TV promos like TBS and uh, ABC, and to do so with the particle playground effect. Now, there's a lot of tutorials out there that'll show you something like this and do it easily with a uh, plug-in like trap code particular but uh, I love using the particle playground for this kind of stuff because of its ability to use displacement maps to control particle properties so uh, let's get started real quick um, what I've got here is a uh, star that travels down spirals a bit and then it flies off so what I want to do is add some swirly particles that kind of come off the end of this uh, motion and dissipate. What I'll need to do is to get our animated layer there and duplicate it and pre-comp that into a new composition. We'll call that star mat. Right? And turn off our original animation temporarily and turn off our star mat for now and choose a new solid and make that comp size and call it playground okay and go to effect simulation particle playground great and right away you can see that uh, we're generating particles with the cannon options however we don't want the cannon uh, so we'll turn it off by going to particles per second and making that zero. Now go down to the layer exploder options and for explode layer we'll choose star map. So we'll do a quick preview there. Okay so right away you can see that we're generating particles using the star mat layer as a base. So we'll scrub back to the beginning and create a new solid again also comp size and name that displacement right and actually we need to pre-comp that so we'll pre-comp that leave all attributes name that composition displacement comp go into that comp and duplicate the, uh, our solid layer two more times and we'll rename the top layer red the middle one green and the bottom one blue go back to the top layer and add the fractal noise effect there we go and we need to animate the evolution so scrub to the beginning set a keyframe scrub all the way to the end and we'll have it rotate 720 degrees great see what that looks like looks good and do uh, almost the same thing with the green layer fractal noise uh, change up the evolution a little bit so we'll make that say for instance negative 2 for the first keyframe at time 0 go back move on scrub down to the end and change that to 0 check that out that looks good too for the blue layer we will add the fill effect change that color to completely white. Great. Now, turn all layers on and ch select all three layers. Go to layer, layer styles, show all. Great. And in the red layer, go down to layer styles, blending options, advanced blending, and for the green and blue channels, shut those two off so that we only get the red channel. Select the layer and change the uh, blending mode to add. Great. Now uh, temporarily turn that off. 
select the green layer, go to layer styles, blending options, advanced blending, and change the red channel and the blue channel off so we only get the green channel. Uh, change the blending mode on that layer to add. Great. Now for the blue layer, we want to do the same thing. Go to layer styles, blending options, advanced blending, and change the red channel and the green channel to off. So we only get the blue channel. And you can change the blending mode on that to add if you wish. And turn all three on, and you get should get something like this. Preview that. Great. Looks good. Now go back to our main composition, move that displacement comp layer down, and turn the visibility on that off. Go back to our playground layer, and then move down to the persistent property mapper options. Open that up and use layer as map. We'll choose our displacement comp layer. And for map red to, change that to X speed. Change the minimum to negative, say, 400, and the maximum to positive 400. Map green to, change that to Y speed, the minimum to negative 400, and the maximum to positive 400. For map blue to, change that to lifespan and keep the minimum to zero and the maximum at one which is one second so now our particles generate with a lifespan of one second let's preview that great that's that's looking wonderful there um, we're getting some nice fluid motion and the uh, the particles are disappearing after one second which is exactly what we want. Now here's a tip, if uh, you ever feel that uh, particle playground is locking up, you can hit the caps lock key and press escape and that should uh, abort uh, the render after it finishes its, uh, its current cycle. Great. So uh, reviewing our preview there, uh, we don't want our particles to just sort of disappear when they hit the end of their lifespans. What we want them to do is to sort of fade off gradually. So we'll move back, go back down to our particle playground effect and down at ephemeral property mapper, choose use layers map and we'll choose our displacement comp layer again. And for the map blue to option, change that to opacity leave operator to set minimum at zero and maximum we will change that to zero now move up to under the ephemeral property mapper options under effects change the older slash younger option from zero to zero point five and age feather to zero point five and what that will do is once the uh, lifespan of the particle gets to 0 0.5 seconds it will start to fade off until it reaches zero. So I'll preview that. So wonderful that's uh, basically our particles are uh, fading off. Now uh, we don't want the particles to have this uh, kind of very large square pixel type of look so we'll generate our own particle and we'll create a new solid and change the width to 8 and the height to 8 and we'll name that particle and actually we need to pre-comp that so we'll pre-comp that name that particle comp and leave all attributes okay go into that composition and change our particle layer there by adding a circle effect so go to effect generate circle change the radius to 2 and the feather to 2 and go down to our particle layer change the opacity to 10 percent and go back to our main composition move that particle comp layer down turn off the visibility go to our playground layer 
and under layer map choose use layer and particle comp now let's, let's do a quick preview of that so we're, we're, we're getting a very kind of smoky uh, wispy organic look to the uh, the particles but uh, it's barely visible so what we need to do is to go back to our particle playground effect and change under layer exploder change the radius of new particle to one and then one more thing is go into your composition settings by control K go to under frame rate change from 30 would change that to 90 frames per second so uh, let's try previewing that and five minutes later and was definitely worth waiting for that preview because uh, got a very nice fluid motion to it so now that we've at least got the uh, the motion exactly the way that we wanted to we can go ahead and pre-render that great so now after waiting for a bit I got that pre-rendered and we'll take a look here that looks great so now we can apply some uh, other effects like uh, glow and a little colorama before that we'll put on a blobalize effect so go to distort CC blobalize and for the softness we'll put down one and for the cutaway we'll put down one and in this case we'll use the alpha for the property under lighting put down negative 100 for the light height see how that looks that looks pretty good maybe make the softness a little bit uh, make it two now we'll apply a very small fast blur make the blurriness one and repeat edge pixels and apply a colorama effect to give it some color for the input phase we want to make it alpha see here and under output cycle change that to ramp gray and modify turn off modify alpha and let's start putting some color in there so let's make it a sort of a green here down at the bottom of the wheel and then as it gets darker it goes more on the purple side that looks good now apply a glow and change the threshold to 50 and the radius we can make that into 20 and the intensity to 2 looking good do a quick preview and there we go we've got a very nice looking liquid uh, particle effect alright well thanks for hanging out with me and uh, hopefully we'll see you again real soon